I begin my 3D stripe pattern by chaining any multiple. This is a stitch pattern that works with any multiple. I will be using American crochet terminology throughout. The setup row is just a row of double crochet. So I begin by doing a double crochet in the fourth chain from my hook. That skipped chain is going to count as a double crochet. On the last double crochet, I will change to my contrasting color. This is the color I want the stripe to be. So I'm changing to yellow, and then I'll turn and chain four to begin my next row. Row one is treble crochet in the back loop of each stitch across. At the end of the row, you need to work into that turning chain. Remember, I said that that turning chain is going to count as a stitch. So you kind of have to turn it over and find where to put the hook. You want to put it into the back loop only of that chain. We're going to stick with our stripe color here as we turn and chain one. Now we get to do a row of what I call folding single crochet. The reason I call it folding single crochet is it's going to cause this row of tall stitches to fold forward and create our 3D stripe. I begin with a chain one to bring my hook up to the level of the single crochet. Now there are two ways I can work a folding single crochet. I can either work into both loops of this yellow stitch or the back loop. I will show you both ways. I'll show you one way on this stripe and I'll show you the other way on the next stripe. Let's begin by working into the back loop only of this first stitch and into the free loop or the back loop only in the stitch in the row below. You can see because we worked into the back loop only when it was turned this way, we turn it around and now we have some free loops. So I'm going to insert my hook through there. So I have two loops that I've gone through. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop through both of those and then yarn over and finish my single crochet. Now the first stitch is a little bit of the hardest one. The others get to be a little easier. I'll work into the back loop only of the next stitch and the back loop only of the corresponding stitch in the row below. Complete my single crochet. I'll do that all the way across being careful to work into the corresponding stitch that's behind or below that treble crochet that I'm working into. I'm going to stop halfway through here and show you what's happening. Can you see those stitches are sort of popping up? This will show even more when we get a few more rows done. As I reach the end of my row, I'm going to work that last treble. And then I have a chain. Remember that chain four counts as a stitch, so I need to work into that one too. Back loop of that chain, and then back loop of the stitch, the corresponding stitch below it. And there I have a row of 3D yellow stitches. Let's see what happens when we do the next row. On this last stitch, I should have changed color. So I'm going to take that last yarn over and pull through out and find the turquoise that I left here and I'll just yarn over and change color here. The next row is just chain three and you'll find this one easy, just double crochet in each stitch, both loops of each stitch all the way across. At the end of the row, I work into the last stitch, then turn, chain three, and do another row 
of double crochet. When I reach the end of the row, it's time to change color, and because my yellow yarn was waiting for me on this side, I can just yarn over with that new color, with the contrasting color, and pull it up. I want to make sure I leave that loop loose enough, or I can cut the yarn and begin again. I'll turn and chain four, then work another row of treble crochet into the back loop only. Turn and chain one. The last time we worked our row of folding single crochet, we worked into the back loop only of the previous row and the back loop only of the row below that. This time I'm going to show you working into both loops of this yellow row and show you what the difference is. So I've done my chain one, I'm going to work under both loops of that first stitch and through the back loop only of the stitch in the row below. So both loops of the, for the next stitch and into the corresponding free loop of the row below. This is also a folding single crochet because it creates a fold in my stripe row. On the last stitch, I'll change color and my yarn is waiting for me, my main color is waiting for me right there. I'll go ahead and do another row of double crochet and then we'll compare how these two different ways of doing a folding single crochet look. You can see that this first stripe is sits a little bit lower down because we have this ridge here when we only work into one loop of the stitch. We have a little bit of a ridge here, whereas this one maybe sits up, it's a little shorter, but it sits up a little higher, it doesn't droop down like this. That's where we used both loops of the contrasting color yarn. One is not better than the other. Just pick one method and use it throughout your project. If you'd like more crochet instruction like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the links in the video notes for other ways you can find me. Thanks for watching.